the one ingredient that instantly revives dead soil into living earth. And hey, no fertilizer needed. Imagine this. Your garden used to thrive. Lush green leaves everywhere. Deep roots, strong stems. But now the soil has turned to dust. No matter how much compost or fertilizer you add, plants stay yellow and stunted. That's not bad luck. That's dead soil. But what if I told you that with just one simple ingredient, you can bring that soil back to life? Fast. Turning lifeless dirt into fertile living ground again. This isn't a gardening myth or a quick fix. It's real soil science in action. And today on Soil and Crop Central, we're diving deep into how one ingredient, jaggery or unsulfured molasses, can completely transform your soil ecosystem from the inside out. You'll learn the science behind it, two powerful methods that actually work, and exact measurements you can use starting today. When soil stops producing and plants struggle to grow, it's rarely because of nutrient deficiency alone. The real issue lies beneath the surface, the loss of microbial life. Healthy soil is alive. Every handful of fertile earth is home to trillions of microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes, working together to break down organic matter, release nutrients, and build the soil structure. Jaggery and unsulfured molasses are unprocessed natural sugars. They're packed with minerals like calcium, iron, and potassium, and most importantly, they contain simple carbohydrates that feed beneficial microbes. If you want to see visible results quickly, this method is your go-to. It's a fermented liquid powerhouse teeming with beneficial microorganisms that bring dead soil back to life in days, not weeks. You'll need one kilogram of jaggery or unsulfured molasses, one kilogram of mature compost or topsoil from a healthy area of your garden, and 20 liters of clean, non-chlorinated water. Start by dissolving the jaggery in the water until fully mixed. Add your compost or topsoil and stir thoroughly. Cover the container loosely, air exchange is essential, and place it in a warm, shaded spot to ferment for five to seven days. Stir the mixture once daily to keep oxygen circulating. When ready, it will have a light foam on top and a sweet, earthy smell. That's your sign of active microbial life. Now, here's the key. Dilute 1 liter of this fermented liquid in 10 liters of water. Use this to drench your soil every two weeks or weekly if the soil is severely degraded. You can also spray it directly on plant leaves. It acts as a mild foliar feed, promoting stronger growth without the need for chemical fertilizers. In as little as two weeks, you'll start noticing the difference. Richer soil color, better moisture retention, and more vigorous plant growth. If you prefer a hands-on, non-fermented option, this method works wonders. It's perfect for those who want a quicker way to energize soil directly using compost. You'll need 500 grams of crushed jaggery or 400 milliliters of unsulfured molasses, 10 kilograms of mature compost or rich topsoil, and 5 liters of water. Dissolve the jaggery or molasses completely in water. Evenly sprinkle this sweet mixture over your compost or topsoil, mixing thoroughly until the moisture is evenly distributed but not soggy. Then, let this blend rest in a shaded area for about 24 hours. During that short rest, microbial activity skyrockets. Microbes wake up and multiply rapidly, turning your compost into a live biostimulant. Apply this activated compost evenly over your garden beds, or mix it gently into the top 2 to 3 inches of soil. Water the area lightly afterward. Within a few weeks, you'll notice the transformation, soft, crumbly, dark soil that smells alive. Repeat this process monthly during your growing season, or any time your soil feels compacted or depleted. Once microbes start feeding, the transformation beneath the surface is extraordinary. Bacteria and fungi break down organic residues into humus, the dark, nutrient-rich material that defines fertile soil. Earthworms are naturally drawn to this microbial activity, burrowing through and loosening compacted layers. The result is soil that breathes again. It absorbs water instead of repelling it, and nutrients that were once locked away become available to plants. 
root systems grow deeper and stronger, improving plant resilience against drought and pests. Within two months, your soil begins to function like a self-sustaining ecosystem. It requires less watering, minimal fertilizer, and keeps improving with every microbial cycle. This is living soil, a natural engine of fertility. Chemical fertilizers may green your plants fast, but they do it by force, flooding the soil with synthetic nutrients while destroying microbial life. Over time, this leads to compacted, dead soil that's dependent on more chemicals. The fermented jaggery and sugar-activated compost methods do the exact opposite. They work with nature, not against it. Instead of dependency, they build resilience. Instead of exhaustion, they create regeneration. Once your microbial community stabilizes, your soil sustains itself naturally, year after year, with minimal input and cost. Consistency is key. To restore dead soil, start with weekly applications of either method for the first month. Once the soil improves, reduce it to once every two or three weeks. During the dry season, use the liquid micro booster in the evenings to prevent evaporation. In wetter months, rely more on the dry soil recharger to keep microbial life balanced. Alternating both methods keeps your soil active and biologically diverse all year long. When microbes return, you'll see and feel the difference. Your soil will stay moist longer even under the sun. Compost will break down faster. Plants will grow stronger with deeper roots and brighter leaves. You'll even notice a deep earthy fragrance rising from the ground, the unmistakable scent of living soil. This is the moment when your garden shifts from surviving to thriving. You're not just feeding plants anymore. You're rebuilding an underground ecosystem that feeds itself and everything above it.